Hi everyone, welcome back to another practice question on vectors. This is taken from the SAJC 2018 paper 1, question number 7. Now, given that P and Q have these position vectors, and that if OPQR is a parallelogram, our objective is to express vectors PQ and PR in terms of A and B. So let's try to find vector PQ first, which is equals to vector OQ minus vector OP. And this will give us 2A minus 3B. Next, we will try to find vector PR always try to make use of the information from the question. Now do take note that OPQR is a parallelogram. So this means that if we were to sketch the parallelogram OPQR, vector OR will then be equal to vector PQ. Vector PR is thus equals to vector OR minus vector OP, which is equivalent to vector PQ minus vector OP which is then equals to 2a minus 3b minus a plus b. And simplifying, we will have a minus 4b. So there you have it. We have factors pq and pr respectively. Now in part 2, we are required to find vector op dot vector or. Now by substituting the values that we have gotten from part 1, this will be equals to a plus b dot 2a minus 3b. Now it is at this point we can make use of the algebraic properties of the scalar product to help us expand this expression. We will then have 2 modulus a square minus 3a dot b plus 2b dot a minus 3 modulus of b squared. And simplifying we will have 2 modulus of a square minus a dot b minus 3 modulus of b squared. So this is the expression for vector op dot vector or. Next, for vector pr dot vector oq, simply take a minus 4b dot 3a minus 2b. Now by expanding the expression, we will have 3 modulus of a squared minus 2 a dot b minus 12 b dot a plus 8 modulus of b squared. Simplifying, we will then have 3 a squared minus 14 a dot b plus 8 modulus b squared. Now in part 3, some students may not know how to start, but not to worry. This question says that OPQR is a square. This would mean that there would be four right angles at each corner of the quadrilateral as shown in the diagram over here. Now in short, we can use this property that if a vector A is perpendicular to vector B, then A dot B is equals to zero. Similarly, since this is now a square, let's try to form an equation here by making use of part two, that vectors OP dot OR is equals to 0 since they are perpendicular to each other. We will then have 2 modulus of a square minus a dot b minus 3 modulus of b square is equals to 0 and by bringing a dot b to the left hand side we will then have a dot b equals to 2 modulus of a square minus 3 modulus of b square. Let's try to put this as equation number 1. Now for the next perpendicular pair of vectors, we will have vector PR dot vector OQ. We can equate it to zero because they are perpendicular to each other. And the expression will then be three modulus of A square minus 14 A dot B plus eight modulus of B squared is equals to zero. Let's try to put 14 A dot B as a subject and it'll be equals to three modulus of A squared plus 8 modulus of b squared. So let's try to put this as equation number 2. So we can see over here that this is a pair of simultaneous equation. So we can substitute equation number 1 into equation number 2. And by doing so, we will have 14, open a bracket, 2 modulus a squared minus 3 modulus of b squared, close the bracket, equals to 3 modulus of a squared plus 8 modulus of b squared. 
Simplifying, we will have 28 modulus of a squared minus 42 modulus of b squared equals to 3 mod a squared plus 8 mod b squared. Now, it is here that we need to answer the question. We realize that we want to show that modulus of a squared equals to k modulus of b squared. So it's always good to group all the a's on the left hand side and all the modulus of b on the right hand side. By doing so, we will have 25 modulus of a squared equals to 50 modulus of b squared. By dividing 25 on both sides, we will have modulus of a squared equals to 2 modulus of b squared. And it is at this point that we can see that k is equals to 2. Now I do hope you learned something from this video. Do hit the like button or the subscribe button to see more valuable content such as these. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.